Welcome to Lake Street News. I'm Jeremy Coyle. And I'm Adam. We finally fixed our teleprompter. April Foolish. We haven't. Well, Mr. Shine hasn't. Okay. The IHS musical is quickly approaching. Anything Goes is going to be performed on April 7th, 8th, and 9th. You can buy tickets at ihsdrama.ticketleap.com or at the performances. Adults are $12, students and seniors are $10. This past weekend, the Ithaca Code Red Robotics team won the Hudson Valley Regional Championship, which now qualifies to them to compete in the first Robotics World Championship, which will be held in St. Louis, Missouri, April 26th through the 29th. In this preliminary round of the competition, the Ithaca team ranked 15th out of the 48 teams competing and allied with the 8th ranking alliance. Despite the standings, the alliance ended up beating out all other top alliances and won the whole thing. Congrats on such an important win. Cascadilla Boat Club is recruiting junior members. The team is in need of Novace boys. However, they are welcoming all grades and experience levels. We met with senior rower Sophie Izzo to talk more about the team and benefits of joining. Well, for varsity members, which is uh, sophomores to seniors, um, every morning, Monday through Friday, 6 to 8 a.m., uh, you arrive there, the sun hasn't come up, um, the water is perfectly clear, um, everyone warms up and gets in their boats, their signed boats, and goes out on the water for two hours of rowing. You'd think it's crazy to get up so early to do this simple repetitive task of rowing, but it's something about being out so close to the water at the sunrise when nobody else is up. Um, it's a very magical feeling um, and only rowers would be able to relate to this sensation that you get. If you are interested in joining, you can sign up online at cascadillaboatclub.org. Practices will be held at Cascadilla Boat Club House in Stewart Park. The times of practices vary based on what time you're on. I'm super cold, Adam. Ah, you want a jacket? I would love a jacket, Adam. Here you go. <coughs> <coughs> There we go. You warm now, bud? I'm getting there. That's good. <coughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, much better. Yeah. Last week, on March 26th, Newt Gingrich came to Cornell to talk to the students about the Trump administration. Early in his career, he was a Republican representative from the 6th District of Georgia. Back in the Clinton administration, Gingrich was the Speaker of the House and oversaw the passage of the 1997 health care reform bill. He is now one of Trump's main advisors. Cornell hosted him, but was very careful. In the past, Republican presenters at Cornell have caused some trouble. <laughs> In the fall of this year, Rick Santorum, a Republican representative from Pennsylvania, came to Cornell. Protesters interrupted him, and they had to cancel the rest of his talk. This time, precautions were taken in order to make sure that nothing of the same nature occurred. Before the talk, many more police were posted, and Gingrich's speech was preceded by a discussion of the expression of all political viewpoints. Gingrich's intention was to offer an explanation for many of the actions of the president, including some of the more questionable choices and actions. He finished his talk with 40 minute question period. Kingrich and Cornell were, were successful in that. There were no protests and the crowd was respectful. His speech went over well with the students in attendance. Gingrich later tweeted, Cornell students were very open and interested during my talk tonight. Nearly 600 came to the YAF sponsored event great dialogues on issues, which points a success to a successful visit. It is good to see that even in this climate, these kind of talks are still 
possible at colleges, Adam. This just in. Trump has signed an executive order that changes will go to the faces of Mount Rushmore to his own faces. He has planned, to the, planned the construction to be done by the beginning of uh, 2024 at the end of his second term. He had started to plan what it might look like. He published a rough sketch along with his order. He defended this with a tweet. Two hours ago, we said, my face is the best face. It is way cooler than those other guys' faces. Sad. While many people on the left are outraged, some of his supporters think that his face is indeed the best face and supports this move. And that's all for our show, folks. I'm Jeremy Coyle. And I'm Mr. Eckley. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.